All right, let's get into some news around the league. The award that we've pretty much all been speculating on all year has finally dropped. Boy, oh boy. Is it causing a stir? Oh, you better believe it. So we should probably get right to it. Drum roll, please. Our 2021-2022 NBA MVP is... Nikola Jokic again! Yes! Yes! Super Cuts Jokic back-to-back MVP. I tell you what. People are mad. People are very mad that the fluffy white boy is getting MVPs over Joel Embiid. Two now. Two now over Joel Embiid. Especially Philly fans. Philly fans are the maddest. Remember when, before this happened, I want to say it was a few weeks ago, they asked Joel Embiid how he was feeling about the MVP voting. And he said, if I win it, great. If I, if I don't win it, I don't know what else I need to do. At this point, I feel like they hate me. In Philly, I don't know why. You always have to do more. The standard for guys in Philly, or for me, is different than the standard for anybody else. I like the challenge, so it sets me up to step up my game and win games. Philly fans, not Joel Embiid, are hated. Joel Embiid and Tyrese Maxey, probably the only likable thing about Philadelphia. Truthfully, the fans are trash, the food is trash, the city's trash, the weather's trash. It's in between of New York and D.C. It's nothing other than a midpoint, truthfully. Their bell is broken. Their famous athlete is fictional in Rocky. The steps, no one cares without Rocky about those steps. Philly fans, never happy. They win the Super Bowl, and then they just clip their head, their Super Bowl winning coach the next year. Clip, clip them. That's it. That's what it is. So, yeah, to say that they are mad about MB being snubbed would be a vast understatement because they're already mad about everything else anyway. Just add that to the fucking list. Doc Rivers says, I truly believe Joel should be the MVP. I don't get in on this, but I think Joel should be MVP. Harden then says he is MVP of the league, despite the fact that the award has been given out and he is not the MVP. Even Kendrick Perkins wanted to chime in. Even Don Staley wanted to chime in. Kendrick Perkins says, I test MVP, says Embiid. Stats say Jokic. I'm glad I always go with the eye test. Carry on. Sorry, Kendrick Perkins, but the eye test isn't quantifiable. So (laughs) it's also very bad on Twitter. Uh, But, man, let's just look at the stats really fast that Jokic put up. Look how unguardable he was in the Golden State Series. He won it last year, and he was even better this year. Let's do the stats. Let's do the stats thing. Talk about the statistics of it all. Nikola Jokic, total co- points created per game, 46.8. Next under him, Giannis at 45.7. Points created per 36, Nikola Jokic, 50.3. That's the number one. All, those, these, all of these are number one, by the way. All these. Points, pre- points created per Minute of possession. This is the most bonker stat ever. Points created per minute of possession. How many do you think? Just guess. Just think about it. Six? Seven? Minute? One minute? No. 10.8 points per minute of possession. That man is an impact everywhere. I don't see... I don't... Let me look here closely. I don't see Embiid anywhere on that list. Nikola Jokic, Giannis, LeBron, Trey Young, DeJounte Murray, John Morant, Chris Paul, Luka, and James Harden. And listen, I like Embiid. He's one of my favorite players, despite him being in Philly. But that's just one element of the stats. Jokic also became one of three players in history to average over over 25 points, 10 rebounds, 7 assists. The other two, two guys named Russell Westbrook and Oscar Robinson. You know, guards. This guy, seven-footer, one of the greatest big men of all time. He's averaged 27, 
14 and 8, which is absolutely absurd. It's up from 27, 11 and 8 from last year when he also won MVP, which means this season he was the first player in NBA history with 2,000 points, 1,000 rebounds, and 500 assists. That is absolutely bonkers, and I get it. I get it. Jokic is ugly. Like, I get it. He's fat, sort of, and he's ugly. He's got back knee, and so you don't want to give him the MVP. Like, I get that. He doesn't look and feel and smell like the MVP. I struggled, and he is not from a place where MVPs come. Denver, two-time MVP from the Denver Nuggets, I struggled as well. I get it. He shouldn't be this good and this soft-seeming at the same time. When asked why Jokic doesn't get as much credit or as respect as other back-to-back MVPs should get, he simply said, could care less. I could care less why I don't get respect. I am a two-time MVP. Even the biggest trash talker in the league, Draymond Green, said basically that Jokic is one of the toughest players he's ever had to guard in his entire life. He said, I told him after the game, thank you for making me better. It's an honor. It's a pleasure to play someone so skilled. And usually when you have guys that are that talented and that skilled, they are soft. And Jokic is far from soft. He's an absolutely incredible player. Preach, Draymond. Preach. I know. It's sad. It's sad for Embiid. Boo-hoo. Boo-hoo for Embiid. Bad timing for Jokic to have the award leaked right after Joel Embiid pulled an undertaker, ripping this Philadelphia 76ers out of the depths of hell and bringing them back to life. It's a regular season award. Timing is very bad. Maybe it's actually good motivation for Embiid. Busted thumb, broken eye, bad back and all. And there's Embiid with a horror movie mask, just balling out, just doing his damn thing, sweat pouring off of his face, reminding people that he changes the game simply by just being there, which we'll get to a little bit later in the podcast. So, yeah. Also, for Embiid, you're probably thinking you've had this stolen now two years in a row. He was the odds-on favorite last year before he got injured, and then he was the odds-on favorite before Jokic started doing just incredible feats. So, I'm sorry. As they say, the best, avail- the best ability is availability. And you know who's available? Jokic. Jokic is always available. I looked and saw how many games he played last year. All of them. He missed eight games this year. Joel Embiid has missed many games throughout the course of his history as an NBA player. There's always next year, Joel. Always next year. You will at some point get your MVP unless you get hurt and Jokic wins it again. (laughs) 